Okay, so hello learners, thank you for your love and support and this time we have decided to improve our content by introducing three new plans. So statistically it is shown that only 27% of the total registered students clear the qualifier, but 52% of our enrolled students clear the paper with flying colors after joining this program. So one may ask like what are the perks one will get after joining the program? One will get access to classes from expert faculties, live doubt classes to resolve all your doubts and detailed conceptual solution of all graded assignments, PVZ papers, mock tests and all materials that required to confirm your selection in qualifier and continue your journey in IT Madras, we are all gonna provide it. And you will also be added to member exclusive WhatsApp and Telegram group for instant reply and doubt resolution. And you know what? All this for just Rs 599 which is just one time investment for a month. So, what are you waiting for? Grab the opportunity to call yourself an IITN. So, we also have other plans like for 119 we will provide detailed solution of all graded assignment for your qualifier as eligibility to appear for qualifier exam depends on your marks in the graded assignment. One will also be added to member exclusive WhatsApp and Telegram group for instant reply and doubt resolution for just 119 rupees which is all it takes to confirm your hall ticket for the qualifier exam. And lastly, we are there to help you after your qualifier selection by providing detailed conceptual solution of all graded assignment, previous year papers, interim quiz, revision sessions, and everything, all the materials that are required for you to have a very good grade in your IT journey, and all the doubts will be cleared using the exclusive member-only WhatsApp and Telegram groups. Thank you for your love and support, and for more details, you can visit our website. Thank you. So hello learners, welcome to the IIT Madras student community channel. Today we will be solving the IITM graded assignments. But before that, subscribe us and join our channel to get full access and all our latest updates. So now let's begin. Hello everyone, welcome to IITM student community channel. Let's start with the solution of week 1 graded assignment questions of maths 1. First question is which of the following are irrational numbers? So we have to check option by option. If we simplify the first option, so we have to multiply with root 8 plus root 2 in uh, numerator and denominator. Then we get root 8 plus root 2 whole square by 8 minus 2 so it's 8 plus 2 plus 2 root 16 by 6 it is 10 plus 2 into 4 by 6 10 plus 8 by 6 so it is 3 so 3 is not a irrational number it's the natural number so it's not a irrational number next option I have to simplify so we have to multiply with root 6 plus root 3 in numerical and denominator so we get root 3 plus root 3 root 6 plus root 3 whole square and it is 6 minus 3 so if we simplify it is 6 plus 3 plus 2 root 18 3 and it becomes 9 plus into 3 root 2 so it is 9 plus 6 root 2 divided by 3 that is 3 plus 2 root 2 so here it is 2 root 2. 
So it is the irrational number. So this option becomes an irrational number. And now check the next option. So root 8 becomes 2 root 2 plus root 2 and root 12 becomes 2 root 3 minus root 3. So 2 root 2 plus root 2 it is become 3 root 2 and 2 root 3 sorry Two root two plus root two, it's become three root two, and it's two root three minus root three, it becomes root three. So it is three root six. So it is also a irrational number. So this is also our correct option. And the last option, if we simplify this root eighteen, it becomes three root two minus root three divide by root 2 minus 1 now it is so it becomes 3 so 3 is not a irrational number so it is not our correct option so our two correct option are b and c these two next question here we are given two states a and b with the ranges so first the set a equals to a belongs to natural numbers such that 3 greater than equal to a less than equal to a that means a equal to 3 4 5 6 7 8 and the set B is equal to the range is between 5 to 10 including 5 and 10 so it is 5 6 7 8 9 10 so these are our two sets A and B now we are given two columns here column A and column B and we have to match these two columns so first we have to find A union B right a union B is equal to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 up to 10. Next, so A is matched with 3. Now A meet B. What are the common elements of A and B? It's 5, 6, 5, 6, 7, 8, right, so A meet B, this is the right option, and next is A difference B, so it means the elements of a which are not in the set B. So those elements which are not in B is that are 3 and 4. These are the elements of A which are not in B. So C goes to 4 and B difference A that means the elements of B which are not in the set A. So those are 9 and 10. So D is 2. So now let's check the options. So A is 3. B is 1, C 
four B B I S two. Yeah, these two. Now let's check the option. Yeah, the second option is matched with ours. This is our right option. Next question. Suppose f1 is an equation or function defined on domains d1 subset of r rational number and d2 subset of r respectively and codomains are subset of r. What will be the domain of the function f1 is plus f2x? So here is the addition of two functions. So we know that uh, for the addition of two functions, the domain will become the common intersection of the domains of that two function f1 f and f2x. So here is the right option that is d1 intersection d2. It is our right option. Next question. Consider the function f such that natural number set without zero. Here given two function f and g with domain and codomain are natural number sets without zero. So the set is like one to infinity. Right, so first function fx is equal to x plus 1 and gx is equal to fx minus 1 if x greater than 1 and 1 if x equal to 1. Which of the following options are true? So options are f is 1, 1 to 1 but not 1 to, f is neither 1 to 1 nor 1 to, so we have to check fx and gx are 1 to 1 and if on to or not right so if x is equal to x plus 1 so to check the injective property 1 1 property we have to take two values of x like x1 and x2 and let's say x1 not equal to x2 right so if x1 is equal to x1 plus 1 and if x2 is equal to x2 plus 1 so x1 not equal to x2 so that means fx1 not equal to fx2 and if we take fx1 is equal to fx2 then we get x1 plus 1 is equal to x2 plus 1 and we get x1 is equal to x2 right so fx is 1 1 now if we check the onto property we can see that we cannot get any input value for the output value 1 so f is not onto so f is 1 1 but not onto it's one of our correct option now check for the next function gx let me clear this Okay. So for GX, if X greater than 1, X greater than 1, it is FX minus 1 and FX is X plus 1 minus 1. That means it is X when X greater than 1. 
and uh, it, uh, gx equal to 1 when x equal to 1. Okay. If we check for 1, 1 property. So first we have to take two values of x that is x1 and x2. So if x1 not equal to x2 then gx1 is equal to x1 and gx2 is equal to x2. So gx1 not equal to gx2 and if gx1 equal to gx2 then x1 is equal to x2. So gx is also 1 1 and if we check for the onto properties we can get and we can get that every uh, for every output value we can get one input value. So g is also on 2. So we can say g is the bijective function. So it is our correct option. So option A and B these two are our correct option. So question number 5. Suppose it says that d2r is a function defined by f x is equal to x square square root of x square minus 36 divided by x plus 6 where d is a subset of z that means integers let a be the set of integers which are not in the domain of k then find the cardinality of the set a so first the function fx that is x square minus 36 by x plus 6 it is well defined if x square minus 36 is greater than equal to 0 and x plus 6 not equal to 0. So the domain of fx domain of fx is the state of integers without these forms that is minus 6 minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 it is the domain of a case now by definition, the set A is the set of integers which are not in the domain of A. So, the set A is this. This is our A set. Minus 6, minus 5, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Our question is find the cardinality of the set A. So the cardinality of the set A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 elements in the set A. So this is the cardinality of the set A. So that's all for this video. The other solution of the rest of the questions you will get in the next video. The link will be provided in the comment section. So please check the comment section and do subscribe and join our channel. Thank you.